Have you ever had an itchy circular rash? It might be a tinea infection, also known as ringworm. Despite the name, no worm is involved. It's a common fungal infection affecting millions worldwide. In this video, we'll cover the causes, symptoms, treatment, and prevention of tinea. Let's get started. Tinea is a fungal skin infection caused by fungi called dermatophytes. These fungi thrive in warm, moist areas of the body, such as the feet, groin, scalp, and underarms. Tinea is highly contagious and spreads through direct skin contact or by sharing towels, clothing, or gym equipment. Tinea infections are named based on where they appear on the body. Tinea corporis, ringworm on the body, Tinea capitis, scalp infection, Tinea pedis, athlete's foot, Tinea cruris, jock, itch, Tinea unguium, onychomycosis, nail infection. Each has similar fungal causes but different symptoms and treatments. Common symptoms include itchy, red, circular rash, scaly, dry or cracked skin, hair loss in scalp infections, thickened or discolored nails. The classic sign is a ring-shaped rash with a clear center and raised edge, which is why it's often called ringworm. Treatment involves antifungal creams, powders, or oral medications. For mild infections, over-the-counter creams like clotrimazole or turbinafine are effective. For scalp or nail infections, a doctor may prescribe oral antifungal tablets. Always complete the full course, even if symptoms disappear, to prevent the infection from returning. To prevent tinea infections, keep your skin clean and dry. Avoid sharing towels, socks, or shoes. Wear breathable clothing. Change out of sweaty clothes quickly. Disinfect gym gear and shower floors regularly. And check your pets too. Tinea can spread from animals to humans. Tinea infections are common but treatable with good hygiene and early care. Don't ignore itchy ring-shaped rashes. See your doctor or pharmacist for treatment. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, share, and subscribe for more trusted medical videos every week. 